representative of what the lobby would say. I will say it from my personal it has been view. That is my argument will be that um, which way is a democratic country. I think the work that uh, womankind does worldwide and, and, and I support the work that they do is because first and foremost it resonates with the work that uh, a lot of women are struggling every other day in the world. Women's leadership matters most, especially to us organizations working for the participation of women in decision making. We are not there. If we are there, we are very few. And those few, their voices are not being heard. In February 2013, Womankind Worldwide brought representatives of eight women's organizations from Asia and Africa to London for a knowledge sharing workshop about women's leadership that the issues that resonate with women are still not addressed and therefore meaning that constantly women are going to be discriminated, they're going to be marginalized and the issues that continuously affect them, they're not going to be articulated. Women are subjected to violence, uh, women are poor. Women's access to education and health, especially uh, the high maternal mortality. And so mostly we have been focusing on um, economic empowerment and livelihood. They are illiterate, they are uneducated, and we are also focusing on the education program. The biggest issue is the security because uh, it is affecting women work uh, at large. It is very important uh, to... The issues are just so common that we have a common agenda. We also uh, employ in similar strategies. And so I think that it's been, you know, it's a good experience because we're learning from each other. Um, women constitute half of the population, of the world's population, and they also give birth to the other half. We cannot do talk about development without involving women. It's about equality, and equality means numbers. In my country, uh, we have two kinds of, uh, uh, of lives, where uh, a woman is, has been leading a private life for a long, long time, and a man has been leading a public life for a long, long time. Women, they need to come out of that cocoon and get uh, to, to the public life and, and lead it in a normal way. Two days of learning exchange were followed by a day of meeting with women in the British government. We are very much excited to meet some of the parliamentarians and to share our issue, our work. We hope to inform the decision makers we meet today to have a, a fact view of our countries. We do not hope much that they will change their decisions, but at least we want to contribute to their decision making. What we know is that success comes over a long period of time and a lot of hard work, a lot of relationship building, particularly with women, to build their sense of empowerment, build their sense of connection with the processes of power. We all left with a lot more than we arrived with and look forward to putting new ideas into action. I'm a mother of four, I'm a grandmother of one, even as I talk about my family life, as I talk about my children, especially the girls, maybe it's because womankind has come in and assisted us as Zambia National Women's Lobby. That's why today I'm able to say, oh, my children will be so assertive, and I know they will be. <laughs>